Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you um, a couple of things that I picked up and a couple of things that I have been working on for my shop. Um, I don't mind the stuff in the background, I'm in my witchy room, which is also my craft room. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this chest we picked up a little while ago, my husband's already filled it with some crystals and stuff, but um, we got this about a month or so ago. And, um, we got this at a, uh, a flea market here in town. And then, um, we went to Friendship Flea Market today, which, if you don't know what that is, if you're not local to me, then you wouldn't know. But, um, Friendship Flea Market is a huge flea market that only happens twice a year. Once in the spring and once in the fall. And, um, it's normally for vendors that actually travel and do traveling shows and um, they come to our area for um, a, w a little over a week uh, it started Saturday and it goes until next Sunday so uh, nine days so my husband and I went today and um, we were on a crystal hunt and I got some things that we've been wanting um, this is the first thing we picked up this is a, a piece of amethyst, a chunk of amethyst Pretty good size. I love it. It's got some dark colors in there. Especially right up in here. Got some really dark colors. It's gorgeous. And then we picked this up. This is a piece of raw emerald. It's got some good color in it. I love it. It's so pretty. Sorry, bad camera quality. I'm trying to get some close ups, but it doesn't really give too much. So that's raw emerald. Um, then this little guy, I don't remember the name of it. Um, the guy told us there when I got it. And of course I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. So if any of you know, please leave me a comment and let me know what the name of this is. That's a pretty good size too. It's in the palm of my hand. And then we picked up a piece of kyanite. Raw kyanite. And it reminds me so much of Celeste, uh, 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 selenite because it's very fibrous. See? Just picking it up leaves stuff on my fingers. So if you want to, if you get it raw like this, you want to be very careful. You'll get slivers in your fingers. But it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. See that sparkle? And then, my baby, I got this guy. This is a lingam, Shiva lingam. Um, I don't know, I'm still learning about this guy. Um, a good friend of mine, Trina, had received one. I think she received one. And I've been on the hunt for one ever since. And I found one today. This is a really good size one. <coughs> Excuse me. And I like how the lighter color stays within this the um, 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 stone itself but it's kind of like wavy I love that that kind of reminds me of um, uh, like water I know it would be dirty water but it still reminds me of water but <coughs> I'm sorry excuse me um, I don't know the medicinal properties, if there is any for the, from this, or um, the uh, metaphysical. Um, I know a little bit of how they're collected and something about, um, I think it's a river in India that um, during their drought season, during their dry season, the river completely dries up. And that's the only time that these little guys can be collected and they come from this one river and I believe it's over in India but yeah that's my baby that was what I picked up today <coughs> so that was the stuff that we had that was the latest stuff we, we went when we went to the Renaissance Festival we picked some stuff up there 
Um, I do plan on doing a video about what we got. Um, I just haven't felt up to it really. But um, the last thing I want to show you guys is a new item that's going to be going up on the shop. Um, all rights reserved, of course. This is my design. Um, so, to celebrate the up and coming Samhain season, I have decided to make these little guys. They're little witch hats. They're wearable though. They have a clip so they can go into your hair. Um, the design will change because I don't really care for the silver but um, you live and learn, huh? <clears throat> so these, I've done two. I'll show you the other one here in just a second. Uh, what did I do with it? Oh, he's over here next to me. <clears throat> but I only have these two right now. I want to see if they sell first. Um, I love them. They each come, obviously, with this little hat. And it's a pretty good size. It's not huge. <clears throat> but it's... Um, pretty good size. Fits in their hand. Um, there's a silver glitter ribbon that goes around the edge. And I've decorated it, twisted it. And then it comes with this bead. Um, it's a glass bead. And it's got like a shape groove into it. You see the shape? And then this little, it's a, it's got, it's a flower but then it's got some ribbon and um, feathers in it. So I have this one that is orange. And then I also have <clears throat> this one. This is also a bead, but this is halite. That's a halite bead. Pretty good size bigger than my thumb. And then this one has the blue flower uh, with the ribbon. And the orange one had, see these little blue bead thingies? The orange one has those two in them. They're just orange. Where the blue one is, it's like a teal color. It lo they look white on camera, but they're not. They're like a really light blue. And um, they'll get cleaned up some. Sitting in here crafting. Oops. Sitting in here crafting away. Get stuff a little dirty. But that's uh, that stuff will come. You can get that stuff up with just tape. Put tape on the... Um, wrap tape around your finger. And then just put the tape over top of it. The stuff will come right up. Because this is like um, a felt material. The, um, the hat is, it's like a felt, so it picks stuff up pretty nicely. Uh, not that it's a good thing, but and this one has a clip too. So yeah, right now I just have the orange and the blue one available. They're not, they're going up on the shop tonight. So if you're interested, come check me out. Alright guys, until next time, blessed be.